Hi ladies and gentlemen and welcome to part 2 of Recon Tips and Advice for Battlefield 1. In my first video we looked at choosing and aiming a recon rifle. Today we are going to look at moving and tactics when playing Battlefield 1. This is hopefully going to give you ideas and tips not only for the recon class but other classes as well. The first thing to remember is that Battlefield is a game not only based on killing enemy players but also that are capturing and destroying strategic maps around the map. First thing we're going to look at today is moving around the map. Every map has countless routes between objectives, some of which are quicker through open ground, others that use buildings and obstacles that provide cover. Since playing this game, I've noticed a lot of players taking route 1 option through mainly open ground to reach objectives. Now this leaves you particularly vulnerable to attacks and often results in a tunnel vision on the objective, forgetting there are always enemy players around. So firstly I want to show you that by slowing your movement down and taking alternative routes around the flanks allows you to use the appropriate cover to be smaller and harder target as well as gaining the upper hand and taking down more enemies without even getting noticed you are. There is a downside to this, particularly using the bolt action rifles because when you are left in situations of one on ones like we see a few here the only option you have is to use your pistol. Another thing to remember when using this route is that to keep moving. The second you stop is when players start sneaking up behind you and doing the knife downs from the back. However, sometimes we are required to move through open terrain and if this is the case, I recommend moving from cover to cover as best you can and if you find a sniper taking shots at you, start performing the zigzag technique instead of jumping. Jumping is a particularly predictable move. However, by zigzagging, you can alter the pattern constantly, making yourself a harder target. However, the key here is not to stop this technique until decent cover is obtained. Stopping at a rock in the middle of a field and hiding trying to retaliate is a riskly and mostly never works. Find suitable cover, like a building or a bridge line, where you can find a suitable position to retaliate. The final thing we're going to look at today is that of flanking. Flanking is a tactic that has proven time and again to be extremely effective and helps everyone in your team progress. At points in the game, you will always notice a collection of players pinned down by suppressing fire from a number of targets. Naturally, players run towards this area to try and achieve a kill. However, by taking a few extra seconds to move around the side to the firefight, we will gain a lot of kills while also helping your team push forward. This is especially a good tactic as a recon class player, as we are all easily outgunned by any kind of semi or automated weapon. Well, that's it for today ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching part 2 of tips and tricks on using the recon class. I hope that everything I've mentioned and discussed has helped you develop your game and play in Battlefield 1. Please feel free to leave comments and things you would like me to discuss in future videos, and I do my best to accommodate. So for now, try the things you have learned and hopefully it will help you become a better player. See you on the battlefield. Bye.